kindergarten. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed. Hello kindergarten, I have a familiar friend here with me today. This is, you remember her? This is Miss Spider. And do you remember her favorite song? Let's see if you can sing it with me. You can sit there, Miss Spider. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Now I wonder, could you put your voice inside your head and do that song? Let's try it, ready? How'd it go? Did it go good? Let's, let's sing again. Ready? Sing. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Let's sing it inside our heads. Good job. Let's sing it one more time with our voices. Ready, sing. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. All right, and Miss Spider brought somebody for you to meet today. It is her baby. So there is her little baby spider. And you know what? The baby spider has a favorite thing too, but this one is a rhyme. And it goes like this. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh, that little baby spider frightened Miss Muffet. Oh, so silly. Do you know this one? Let's see if you can say it with me. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. What voice was I using just now? I was using my speaking voice, my speaking voice, my talking voice, my normal voice. Oh, that is the wrong cup! Mrs. Davidson! Guess what? I make mistakes. It happens. I gave you a preview. We'll do that one next. All right. There it is. Speaking. Speaking voice. So she's just normal, regular, just talking like what we just did. All right, sneak preview. Where is it? Whispering voice. So let's see if we can say Little Miss Muffet in her whispering voice. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Let's see what's next. Our calling voice. This is the voice we can use to call our friends across the playground. Say, hey, do you want to go on the swings? Now,
Now this is not a yelling or a screaming voice because that would hurt our throats and our friends could not understand us. So we are calling. Let's try saying Little Miss Muffet in our calling voice. Ready, go. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. All right. And then here's our last one, our singing voice. Let's see if we can do Little Miss Muffet in our singing voice. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. All righty. I'm going to take Miss Spider and we, uh, no, Spider Baby, and we are going to play a little game. Miss Spider can sit right there and watch. Okay, I have my four cups here. Let me back up so you can see them. Doom. Oh, that's not very good. I'm going to have to adjust this camera. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. Do, do, do. There we go. I'm a spider sitting there, too. See all of us? See everybody? Okay, I'm going to take baby, put him on the floor, and keep your eyes on that baby spider. You ready? All right, you ready? Do you know where it is? Is it under this one? No. Under this one? No. Is it under singing voice? No. Is it under calling voice? Yes! All right, so let's use our calling voice and say Little Miss Muffet. Ready, go! Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. All righty, keep your eyes on that spider. All right, let's see if we can find it. Is it underneath a calling? Wait, that's not calling. Is it underneath a calling voice? Nope. How about this one, the singing voice? <gasps> there it is, underneath the singing voice. Let's use our singing voice, ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. All right, keep your eyes on that spider, ready? All right, let's see. Where could that spider be? Do you know? Is it under this one, the speaking voice? Nope. Is it under singing voice? Nope. Is it under whispering voice? <gasps> there he is. All right, let's use our whisper voice. Ready, go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. All righty, let's play one more time. Keep your eyes on the spider. All right, where could that spider be? Is the spider under the singing voice? Let's see. Nope. How about under the calling voice? How about under the whispering voice? Nope. How about under our speaking voice? There she is. All right, let's say um, Little Miss Muffet in our speaking voice. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Excellent job. All right, let me clean up my cups here. I'll give the baby spider back to Miss Spider. 
There you go, Miss Spider. Thank you for playing. I'm going to move closer, and then we're going to do something spooky. I'm going to pretend I'm a witch, and I'm stirring my brew. You can stir with me. Ready? Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh, ooh. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh, ooh. Tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. Did I scare you? Oh, goodness. Let's do it again. Ready? And you can learn this, and then you can go scare people. Ready? Sing. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh. Ooh. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh. Ooh. Tip. Toe. Tip, toe, tip, toe, boo! Should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. Okay, ready, go. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh, ooh. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Ooh. Alright my friends, I want to tell you a little bit more about our composer of the month, Zitkala Shah. I was saying it a little wrong last week, I said Zitkala Sa, but I've been listening to some stuff about her and it's Zitkala Shah. And I have to get my book, so give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> Now this book had a lot of words in it, so you will see I changed the words a little bit just to make it a little shorter because look at this. Look at all of those words on each page. This would take us all of music class to read. So I summed up the points here. Alrighty, so there's Sitkala Shah. And when she was young, she had to leave home and go to school. And that isn't the thing that made her the most sad. The thing that made her most sad was they cut her hair when she went to the new school, and she was very sad about cutting her hair. All right, so now we're going to go back in time a little bit before she left home. And she used to live with her friends and her family, and she lived in a teepee, and they loved to play house together. They loved to pretend to be their moms, and they played games and told stories. I think a lot of us like to play those kind of games. And this is when she was seven, missionaries came and they told her that if she came with them to get a good education she could have all the apples she wanted to eat and she could ride in an iron horse. Do you know what an iron horse is? It's a train. So she wanted to ride in the train and she begged her mom to let her go and her mom wasn't sure but in the end she let her go because she wanted her to have a good education. So Zitkala Shah went on the train with her friends and they gave her lots of candy, so that's them throwing candy at her. But she couldn't understand what anybody was saying, and she got pretty homesick. She didn't understand their language. And that's when they cut her hair, too, is when she went to the new school. All right, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because Sitkala Shah was a really good student, and she learned a lot of things, especially music. She could play the violin, and she could play the piano too. And listen how good she was. When she was 15, they let her be the music teacher of the school. Oh my goodness, she must have been good at music. And she got to give a speech at her graduation. So she was a very good student. And then she moved to Pennsylvania after she graduated to be a music teacher in Pennsylvania. I know some music teachers in Pennsylvania. And while she was there, she played the violin in a band, a traveling band. And guess what? They got to play at the White House. So she got to play her violin at the White House, which is pretty cool. 
then she used music to tell people about the Native Americans. She wrote the first Native American opera called the Sundance Opera. And that's the orchestra down there and the actors on the stage performing the opera, the Sundance Opera. And then she went to Washington, D.C., where she helped get Native Americans the right to vote. Before this, they couldn't even vote. And she helped get health care and education for Native Americans. So Zakala Shah was a very important person. Let me find that picture of her. There she is. There is Zakala Shah. So she was a very, very important person, and we will learn more about her in the weeks to come. All right, how about we freeze dance for a little bit? What do you think? Um, let me stand up, and I've got to move you. So if you get seasick, close your eyes, because I'm going to move you. Because <laughs> if I'm going to dance with you, I need to move this. Okay, so let me push play, and then we'll do some freeze dancing. with me this afternoon. Maybe we'll have some time to do freeze dance. There's another game I want to play with you live today, but if we have time, we'll freeze dance. Hold on a second. I need to get a couple things. Let's escape instead and get prepared. Okay. I'm going to sit down, and then I'm going to turn you around. So if you get seasick, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. All right. You can open your eyes. Here I am. We are going to do another spooky thing for spooky season. This is called Five Little Pumpkins. So let's see, you can listen. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, oh my, it's getting late. The second one says, there are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, we're ready for some fun. 
Who went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. They are. All right, this song has some motion. So let's see if you can be my echo. We're gonna get a gate and five pumpkins and let's see if you can be my echo. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, oh my, it's getting late. Why are we tapping our wrists? Because we're pretending there's a watch there. I don't really have a watch on, but we're pretending. Okay. The second one says, there are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, we're ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right, let's try it together. All right, let's get our five pumpkins in our gate. Ready, sing. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, oh my, it's getting late. The second one says, there are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, we're ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right, I'm going to get the book. It's upside down. I'm going to get the book and you can do the motions and sing. Unfortunately, I cannot do the motions while I hold the book because I only have two hands. All right, let's see if you can do the motions and sing with me. Ready, sing. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, oh my, it's getting late. The second one says, there are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, we're ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. The end. Good job. All right, I have one more thing. I want to do before we sing goodbye and it is some mystery sounds but you do not have to close your eyes because today the mystery sounds are on my iPod this is an iPod it's not my phone it's little because the only thing it does is play music don't play games on it I can't make phone calls I just play music and mystery sounds all right so I'm gonna push play and listen and see if you know what it is you know what it is? Definitely sounds like some kind of water. It's supposed to be a water fountain. I feel like we don't have water fountains anymore. They're all closed because of the coronavirus. All right, let's see what the next mystery sound is. figure it out? That was somebody turning pages in a book. All right, let's see what's next. Know what it is? It's a vacuum, or like we say in Pittsburgh, a sweeper. 
That's somebody sweeping the floors. Let's see what's next. Oh, the sweeper's turning off. Do you hear, know what that is? Somebody typing on a very noisy keyboard, a very noisy computer. All right, I think, is there one more? Let's hear. <laughs> you all know what that was. That was a toilet flushing, very important sound. Okay, so my friends, um, we'll sing music time is over, and if you want to join me this afternoon for a little live music class, we'll play a game, and if we have time, we'll do some more freeze dance. Okay? Let's sing. Music time is over, but everything's okay. We'll be back together on another day. Music time is over, but you don't have to get in line. Thank you for the music. Now I'm feeling fine. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye!